Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. But before I begin, I want to give uh, a thank you for those uh, individuals who have been uh, sharing with me uh, positive feedback on my channel and uh, certain topics that I've been discussing on my channel. So I just like to uh, thank those individuals who have been showing the love and the positivity uh, during these uh, hard times. And uh, today I'd like to uh, discuss something uh, just to give a little heads up for those individuals who uh, look at this as an opportunity to uh, <clears throat> buy a property. Um, first of all, if you have money right now saved up, this is not the time to start buying property unless the property you already have is paid off. I'm going to tell you why. Because right now, even though the interest rate is very low, the property that you may want to um, buy probably will be very difficult to uh, acquire because you're going to be competing with other people who are also trying to get a deal on property which is going to be very difficult to find a deal right now because right now in the uh, property business um, right now it's been going up not going down even though we are in a crisis right now and we have people who are not able to uh, pay their rent or their mortgage but still the price of property is still going up it's still up even though we have very few people are able to pay their rent, pay their mortgage. Um, I have a low interest rate. But the thing is, with all of this, you have very little supply. So when there's very little supply in the market, you're going to have other people to compete with, which will eventually bring the price of that particular property up making it more expensive so basically what I would do at this point in time is not so much try to invest in property at this time I would probably try to just hold on to that money right now if you're not already using that money for bills food and your own mortgage and rent and if you're not investing or saving up, you may want to start doing that, especially saving. You know, it's always best than anything else to save for a rainy day. Because this is a perfect time to save. Because this is one of those rainy days. So, just be mindful of that that if you do plan on buying some property that's what you're going to be dealing with you're going to be dealing with people who probably are trying to do the same trying to buy some property so you're going to be competing you'll be uh, probably not getting a good deal but probably buying something that is probably not worth it because of very small supply and a lot of demand so that's going to bring the price of property up, making it more expensive for you trying to buy something. But I would recommend if you're going to buy something that you at least pay off your mortgage first. Because right now you have people who are not able to pay their rent, the mortgage. So if you have tenants and they're not able to pay, then you just took on another mortgage. Okay. And you don't want to be out there trying to take on another mortgage on top of your mortgage because then you thought you were stressed out now you really be stressed out when you have two mortgages with along with uh, bills to pay so if I was you I would just recommend just holding on to that money just in case uh, this go past April into May and then 
past may and then you know who knows what else so i would say just uh make sure if you're new to my channel make sure to uh subscribe become a new subscriber if you're already a subscriber continue watching for my latest content make sure to hit that bell and if you have any questions or concerns or comments just put them down at the bottom until then have a great day enjoy the rest of your day